guys, it's me, Debbie again, and this video is especially for Rebecca, uh, Craft of Cupcake on YouTube, I'll post her link below, and she wanted us to do a recycle thingy on, uh, on our project, and that was her first contest. Um, this video is to show you how, um, uh, how I've incorporated my recycled items on some projects and uh, well let's get started the first project i've made uh, with a recycled item is this card and the recycled item i've used is this um, bottle cap charm and i've made it of course from bottle caps and uh, how i've made those charms you can see in my other video that's on my channel i'll put a link also in the description box uh, with a couple of beer bottle caps i've uh, created uh, charms and those charms I've used and the first one is card so it opens up of course and um, on this card I've put some blue cardstock first for a little mat then I've put on cute little paper from this paper stack from a local store around here I've put some paper doilies for matting the flower and of course the flower itself. The flower itself is also made one of, with one of those papers and I've used uh, a circle punch this is the one and a half inch circle punch um, and I'll probably do a tutorial on the flower too someday but be patient. <laughs> I've also added a little strip of vellum light paper on which I stand the uh, uh, greeting and I made a faux stitch using a permanent marker because that just works better on the vellum paper. Added a little of bling and uh, that was this project. Very cute, simple, I think myself and uh, very easy to do. Well, thank you for watching and I'll show you my other products um, in this video too. So this is my uh, second uh, project I've made and it's a uh, tag as you can see. And for that I've used one of the tags I got uh, from Leanne uh, because I won her giveaway on her YouTube channel. Hi Anne! And uh, she was so kind to send me some tags and I've used one of those. And uh, first of all I've uh, inked it with some crushed olive. I used the uh, Tim Holtz, um, well, let's see, um, Ink Essentials tool to uh, rub it all over and uh, when it was all um, the same color I used some Versamark ink and one of the background stamps I have to uh, stamp the grid and that I uh, heat embossed it with my heat tool and some clear embossing powder after that I've uh, inked it again and I've used some uh, broken china distressing here on the bottom and uh, after that I've stamped uh, with some stays and black ink this uh, gorgeous butterfly stamp also from Leanne in her giveaway uh, I really love it already so um, I've used that but because of the embossing it wasn't showing up very um, much as you can see so I re-stamped this on some um, yeah, old uh, paper from a book and I've uh, embossed it with some clear embossing powder to make the um, wings curl up and uh, I've put it on, uh, on the same stamp position uh, I've cut out a heart using a uh, little heart punch just a small one and I've put some uh, white um, cardstock behind it to show through and I've uh, glossy accented it uh, a little bit to pop it up I've also uh, inked uh, the bottom side a bit with um, a Victorian velvet to make it uh, well um, pop up a bit and I've stamped a swirl stamp here on the background maybe you can see with some dusty con cord and this is the swirl I've used it's one of the um, uh, well Viva Decor it's a local uh, local stamp set and with some permanent marker I've um, 
uh, traced some of the swirls to make them pop a bit. And I finished off with a uh, border punch. Sorry, not here. Um, I can't find it. <laughs> Somewhere in my stairs. Border punch in which I have uh, threaded uh, some ribbon, some small white ribbon. I've added, of course, my bottle cap charm. That's what the project uh, is all about. And um, underneath a little um, little piece of uh, scrap paper with a saying friend on it. Um, some cute ribbon. A little, um, a little paper flower. And a bread. It was original uh, light blue, but I've uh, inked it up with the uh, permanent marker to make it... Uh, a bit more uh, black, black almost brown looking. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, of course, some ribbon, and I've inked the edges uh, with some uh, vintage photo distress ink to make it uh, combine all together nicely. So that's my project two. On to project three. So on to my uh, third uh, project. I've uh, made some. Well, I think uh, cute charms. Uh, to hang on a, a mini uh, like this. I haven't decorated it all, I've just used it as an example what you can do with it. Of course you can also hang it on uh, a keychain or anything else. And uh, once again I've used the ball cap charms, but because they were uh, hanging loose now, I've painted the back black to uh, cover up the uh, image of the brand I was using and to finish it off a bit, as you can see. So uh, I've made these um, uh, hanging dangling thingies with some, um, how you call it, I don't know, pins with a, with a little eye. I've used these ones. Um, and I've put them bottom down and then I threw on some nice beads I've got and I've uh, curled the end and I've... Um, bind it all together with some little uh, rings here and here maybe I can show you more up close just a sec okay let's see okay so I'll put this out of the way well here it is one of those so I've put one ring down here then the uh, this one uh, then the beads, then I've curled the end, put another ring on it, and then with another um, pin I've made this little hook so it can close and you just put the uh, end that's bent into the little hole, it's a bit of a work, and push it through a bit and then it closes so it won't go anywhere. And now you can hang it from an album or a keychain or well anything like it. So that's that. I really hope you like this. Uh, well, to see these uh, uh, projects I've made. If you want to know more about the recycled item itself, the uh, bottle cap charms, do watch my uh, previous video. I'll as I said, I'll put the link down below and um, I'll fill your comments. So uh, bye now. Bye Becca. <laughs> Thanks for uh, hosting the contest and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.